Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play of Wait! Uh, when we left off, we finished the fourth invocation, and now we have the meeting. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's something different. I mean, I'm guessing it's titled differently, so... I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm really curious and I wanna find out, so I'm just gonna start it. Now, I have been told that, like, a lot of this dialogue is subtly different, so I need to pay more attention to what's going on. Let's see if he- what he's been saying. Hugh, what a day! I haven't been able to get my, that much work done in a while. That seemed the same to me. Or is it not? Am I just stupid? I'm probably just stupid. The numbers are still there. Then again, why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they? Five, six, seven, six. Whatever, time to get something neat. There should be some leftovers in the fridge. Okay, so he doesn't even care. Like, he used to repeat them over and over again. But... I don't know. Let's just eat salad, I guess. But I need to be a little bit more explorative um, with the game. Because apparently there's a bunch of little things that have changed and I've been overlooking them and I haven't been doing it on purpose or anything like that. It's just, I thought it was the same. So I didn't really focus on them too much. <coughs> okay, so what should we check? Board, okay. No new answers. That's the same, that's no responses, and no, oh, you didn't get anything. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed then, but yeah, um, I've been told the emails are, are a little bit different too, so I'm gonna try and pay better attention this time in the meeting, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'm not supposed to look at everything though, because I didn't do that already, so I kind of failed. But, so far, it's been sleepy time for everybody. But why is it called the meeting? Are we gonna meet somebody? I'm guessing. Hello. Was that my front door? Oh. Um. Go and check? Well. I don't hear anything. Must. Why did you, why did you let me choose that? <laughs> Must have been a dream, I'm too tired to get up. Okay, buddy, you just go to bed then. Was that my front door? I'm sure it wasn't. Let me keep sleeping. Now somebody's knocking. Does someone knock on the door? Yes, twice. Who could that be at this time of night? I don't know, but we should probably go check. The library has changed the patient. Okay, give me a second, I gotta read. Um, the patient. <clears throat> it was no good, he couldn't call the aspects of himself because he was already too advanced in his efforts to become a pride human. Uh, the two tenants that followed after him also didn't uh, achieve anything. He started losing hope. Would no one be able to endure the twisted realities and call the aspects? Then it occurred to him. He was not bound to time and physics. Why not send a version of his old self into the apartment? Surely he himself must be able to achieve what the others couldn't. What? Okay, so there's still some that we don't have. There's still a lot we don't have. Okay, whatever. Um, let's go check the door. Yes? What do you want? It's the middle of the night. Hello, Benjamin. Who are you? I am Seth. Seth? Seth who? What do you want from me? Apologies. I forgot that you forgot. This is not necessary anymore. Ouch! My head! What did you... What did... I'm here, but how is this possible? This must be difficult for your mind, remembering four different versions of the same life at once. That voice! It's you! That voice I heard inside my head! That voice from the tape recorder! Seth! That is correct. Or, as Professor Riley called me, the patient. But how is this possible? 
What's happening here? Calm yourself. I am here to thank you, Ben. I have been waiting such a long time for someone like you to appear. Someone like me? What is this about? The ritual, Ben. It has always been about the ritual. But the ritual? I have dealt with it four times already and I don't even know how. I don't understand. <laughs> no, you haven't. Everything you have witnessed is what I have created for you. I needed you to do something for me. Therefore, I created a version of the ritual just for you. I wanted to prepare your mind to be able to comprehend the things you witness. I needed you to call the aspects for me, the real aspects. And you've managed wonderfully. I've been waiting for someone like you for almost a century. But I didn't call any aspects. Don't you understand? The aspect of fear, driving you to commit suicide to escape from what has to be done. The aspect of creativity, called by the unusual idea of breaking the contract by changing a symbol. The aspect of restlessness, summoned by escaping this world through a portal with the help of that man Parker Crane, who somehow managed to enter the world I created for you. And finally, the aspect of transience, called by giving in to the never-ending cycle of signing the contract. Ooh, I like it. So, it wasn't real? Only to a certain extent. What you have witnessed may have just been for you and all your previous tenants, but it had an impact on the real world. What about the last aspect? Isolation. It has been taken care of. What's that supposed to mean? You know what? Never mind. Why don't you call the aspects yourself? Why me? Well, you just happened to move in here. Just like me, Professor Riley, or Emily Norham. I was the first to move in. I didn't call the aspects myself because I'm not allowed to. I'm no longer eligible to represent the human race as a contracting party. Why is that? I am without any of the aspects. I have freed myself of the boundaries of the contract. I am, well, a prime human. There have been many like me, often people of great importance, people who were said to be immortal, like Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, for example. Also, uh, Menon or several pharaohs, referred to as God Kings. There have been many like me, but always only one of us at any given time. Only one. Existing in isolation. But, oh, sorry, wrong voice, but how can you uh, be alone if all those people were immortal? The immortality only declares that time no longer has an effect on the body and soul. A bullet or sword can still lead to death. So, is the contract real? Are we really bound by the contract to be allowed to exist? Yes, it's all true. I have to attend the ritual, but I couldn't summon the aspects because I already lacked those characteristics. I tried it myself a long time ago, but I failed. So I stayed here. I thought maybe a later tenant would be able to do the job, if I manipulated him into doing it. The professor, he was good, but he found out about me and it drove him crazy. So he somehow created a world where I couldn't reach him. Smart man. Emily never stood a chance, but she couldn't leave anymore once she had moved in. She was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And then, you came. If you're already immortal and everything, why even attend the ritual? I have to. The isolation is unbearable. I don't understand. What isolation exactly? Just because you're the only one of your kind? Yes. You see, back then, all humans were connected. They didn't know isolation because everyone communicated with everyone at any given time. Almost like a hive mind. But since I'm the only one, uh, since, but since I'm the only one, all I hear is emptiness. Silence. This maddening silence. I will do everything I can to get rid of it. 
I will negotiate with the beings. I'm the only human who can. But how will you? It's none of your concern anymore, Benjamin. You can leave. What? You can leave. It's over. You have my thanks. And you are free. You mean, I can leave this place for good? Yes, but you must go now. <laughs> I love how we got all dressed up for our little day out there. Farewell, Benjamin. Why, why do I feel like I just randomly got kicked out of my own apartment? <laughs> Be a great way to tell somebody, like, convince somebody to leave so you could steal all their things. I guess we're out. The sun has the sun has come up. The night has passed, and I'm still here. I'm really free. I am without any of the aspects. There can be only one of us at any given time. The isolation is unbearable. He will negotiate without fear, and all he cares about is not being alone anymore. He'd probably rather be dead than alone. That means, if the aspects don't comply... Oh no! I have to go back! Maybe I can still stop him and... What the... Yeah, that's a little bit run down now. Say what? Hi. <laughs> wait. I mean, wait, what? Oh my god, that's the actual ending to the game! Wow! I don't know what to think, like, I wonder if they're gonna do like a sequel or something like that, because that sets it up for something crazy. Um... Wow. That was a really, really good game. I know a lot of you guys have been following this game from the beginning, and thank you so much. I'm sorry that I got stuck on the second invocation for several episodes. Um was unexpected, but given that, I still enjoyed the game a lot. Um, there were some people who thought like I was rushing the game or trying to get through it quicker, and that wasn't the like that wasn't my uh, goal in any way, shape, or form. Like, I guess I wanted to make sure that I covered everything and showed you guys all the new stuff, and so I didn't. I wasn't as meticulous as I could have been. Maybe you guys will be able to notice a lot of the other uh, things, like the subtleties and things like that, that I didn't see. <clears throat> because like this game is amazing. It was really really good Definitely worth the time investment um, Easily worth the the asking price for it. It was such a good game And I love the fact that it rewards you To play through it and there's a reason why you play through it like five times now if it was me personally I probably wouldn't like I don't know if like five playthroughs is like I Don't know on one hand it makes sense for the story, but on the other like I think a lot of people are going to be missing key elements, like the subtleties to the game because they they think that they've already seen or read whatever's happened. Um, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I just played it differently and a lot of you guys really dug into it and accepted it for what it was. I enjoyed it tremendously. I think that it's an awesome game. The developers did a great job making it. It was just really fun. It really, really was. And I do feel like there are some things that I missed. Uh, obviously. Oh, cool. Title screen used in the original version of Wait. This is like little easter egg things going on here. But there are a lot of books that I didn't unlock. There's the book with the padlock on it. I don't know if that's going to affect anything. I don't feel like it will. Um, unused- oh my god, if I ran into that, that would be terrifying. But yeah, we did it! 
we did it we finally beat weight and the game was crazy it was a fun crazy ride and I'm so glad you guys uh, stuck it through with me I really do appreciate it I really appreciate it so much because this game can make you lose your mind <laughs> for real but no it was very very well done and I like seeing stuff like this early concept of Riley's monster oh god can you see some of those can you imagine if some of those were in the game man it'd be absolutely terrifying but it was good it wasn't like jump scare horror which is what they said they wanted to focus on atmosphere and they did it they they did it in spades um draft of the metal clinic it's always cool to see stuff like this like seeing people like what work goes into it uh, I wish I was that talented and skilled to make something like that people are awesome people are amazing but I guess that is it unless it's gonna be something after the credits but I don't know but yeah there's just so much more lore that could be pulled from this game you know like what were these creatures why why were these aspects the ones that we had to sacrifice I mean I know we chose them to keep them from like killing us off or whatever but you know did we pick those or did they pick them what does it mean now with the whole thing popping up in front of the earth like are we still screwed did uh, Seth do what he was supposed to do or did he fail it I don't know no idea Ugh. Guess, can I? Uh, oh, I can skip it. Okay, well, I hit spacebar, so we'll see if anything else happens. I don't know. It, oh, okay, cool. Is this like my results screen? Or what am I doing? It's telling me to wait. Okay. So, yeah, I got five out of five playthroughs, two side stories. Cool. I missed a little bit. Congratulations, you finished the story. You now have the option to set your game to an invocation of your choice. Uh, in case you missed anything, this will not reset your library, so don't worry. Oh. Well, that's really cool. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, though. Thank you guys so much for watching my wait playthrough. I, it was a ton of fun. I've already said that so many times. But be sure to check out um the game for yourself otherwise uh be sure to let the developer know if you guys uh, enjoyed it or not so that they have a little bit of motivation uh, to continue on whatever project they choose to pursue i thought it was awesome and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well but thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next mamj let's fly crack here the only one beneath the stairs i can probably fit through i mean hey where else are we gonna go I never knew we had an elevator in the building. Oh yeah, you know, everybody has elevators underneath the stairwell. It's really normal. Sure, we'll take it. I wonder if it's functional. Looks like it. Yay. Okay, it seems to work. I'm really not sure about this. Then again, there is no other way, it seems.